Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips uh, with Xamarin today. So we're going to talk about uh, using Xamarin Forms now with Windows 10. Uh, so the Windows 10 Universal Windows Platform uh, can cover all different kinds of devices, phones, tablets, desktops, Xbox, IoT, um, eventually the HoloLens, all these different devices, all under this one Universal Windows Platform. Uh, and previously, haven't really been able to, to develop through Xamarin directly in terms of UI for Windows 10. You could use your shared project or your PCL, uh, but now you can get in and share that UI code, that Xamarin Forms code uh, also. So that's what Xamarin Forms 2, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to take a very simple project and we're going to convert it to a Windows 10 Universal Windows project. So let's go ahead and dive into Visual Studio. All right, so we popped over here uh, to Visual Studio, and I'm in an existing sample that I've got out there, and this is, it's called Color Slider. Uh, so let me just run it really quickly on the Windows Phone emulator before we get started, just to show you what it is. So it, it's just uh, the RGB, and you can kind of click and drag the different um, sliders here uh, to make different colors. Pretty simple. Uh, but this is all Xamarin Forms, so that's what we're working with. And now the next step is how do we take that uh, to become a universal Windows application. And again, uh, universal Windows applications or platform goes across all devices that run Windows 10 from IoT to phone to Xbox to HoloLens, all those kind of things. Really cool story. Uh, so being able to get there through Xamarin Forms is going to be pretty cool. So the first thing we want to do is we want to update the version of Xamarin Forms to 2.0. Uh, so let's right click on our solution and we can do we can update the NuGet packages for each of the different platforms that we already have in one shot. So let's do a search here for Xamarin Forms. And when we get it popping up, we see that we've got it in our three different projects. We could uninstall it or we can update, which is what we want to do. So let's update here. Uh, and this will take a couple of seconds because it's, it's got to go in, <coughs> excuse me, and get rid of the previous version that older version of Xamarin Forms and then put in the newest version uh, 2.0 and it's got to do that for each of those three different platforms which is why we have the three different checkboxes here. So in one of our next steps we're going to go in while this is loading we're going to go in and add the actual Universal Windows the UWP project uh, so that'll be the, f the fifth project in our solution because we've got the shared and then Android, iOS and Windows Phone. Uh, and then with that one, we want to go ahead and add in this same NuGet package to that one as well. So it's going to be the Xamarin Forms 2.0. So let's give this a second to go through and uh, do all of its updating here, and then we'll uh, then we'll move on to adding that project. All right, looks like we're making some progress. Uh, still give it a little bit more time. It's uninstalling some of the ones, and we might get a prompt here to uh, restart. There it is to restart Visual Studio. I don't know if it'll do that for you. Uh, it's been doing it for me. Uh, if you get that prompt, just go ahead and restart. Uh, it's worked fine for me every time I restart. So we'll give this another second just to get back up and going. Uh, so now again, the next part is to actually create that, uh, that fifth project within our solution. So we'll right click on solution and we'll do an add uh, new project. And this one we want to be uh, not Xamarin, but actually just Windows and then blank app universal Windows. And we'll call this Windows UWP test. And then we'll call it Windows. <laughs> Probably not the best naming convention there, but. All right, so we've got our Windows, uh, our universal Windows project here, universal Windows platform. Uh, so we're going to right click here and do a manage NuGet packages. And we, again, need to add that same. Uh, Xamarin Forms uh, NuGet package. So we want to make sure that we grab the stable 2.0. Uh, go ahead and install that. And now uh, once we do that, then our next step, we need to go in and add all the references to the other, uh, well, basically to our shared project because shared project is added by default when you create a new project. Uh, but we need to go in and manually add it because we're kind of doing this on our own. Uh, so let's go back up to... Uh, the Universal Windows Project, and let's do Add and Reference. And then in the solution, uh, this is the shared project here. Click Shared, pops up, checkbox that. Uh, that should be good, and we should see that reference here pointing to this shared project. Uh, so now that it's there, uh, we need to go in and edit a couple of the files uh, and do a couple of things in the app 
app.xaml and then our main page files. So in our app.xaml, uh, we want to come down to the uh, onLaunched method. So let me scroll down here. Oh, I just had it actually. So here's onLaunched. And then uh, scroll down a little bit where we add the on navigation failed event handler or set it. Uh, we want to add a Xamarin Forms init. Uh, so this is similar to what you'd see in. Uh, you do this on the iOS platform, for for example, and you do it on Android where you go in and initialize Xamarin Forms. So uh, Xamarin dot forms dot forms again, and then init. So just want to call that init. Uh, and then we want to open up our main page. And let's see, oh, we need to pass in E as the parameter there, and that should be good. Okay, uh, so we want to open up our main page CS file uh, for the UWP project. Let's open that up. Uh, well, actually, first let's go to the XAML page. So let's get the XAML. Let's pull that up. Uh, and then I like a, a little different view here, so I want it to be to the side, so I have a little more room. Uh, and basically, we can kind of scrap... Uh, everything in here, well actually most stuff in here, so we can scrap this grid, get rid of that, and then we want to add another line up here, uh, which is a reference to, uh, just a namespace for the forms, so we'll add that, just copy and paste this in, so this is, uh, it's called, it's going to be called forms, and then it's using in xamarin.forms.platform.uwp, so that's the new piece that's added uh, in Xamarin Forms 2.0. Uh, so add that, then we want to turn this page into, uh, not a regular page, but a forms.windows page. All right, and that might give us an error. Uh, we should be good there. Uh, I think we're good regardless of that. So then back in our main page.xaml.cs, uh, this doesn't need to uh, implement page. And then after the initialize component, we can just call load application. And then we want to do a new instance of, and then this is going to be our namespace, so our uh, Windows UWP test. That's what mine's called. Uh, and then dot app. So this is, uh, this is basically just calling, excuse me, just saying, you know, go ahead and take uh, the shared project um, and take the app there. And that app is going to go ahead and set the home page to that home uh, content page that's shared in the shared project. So again, need to go in, uh, update the uh, NuGet packages for Xamarin Forms. Then we need to add the UWP project. Inside of that, make a few lines of code change. Uh, in the XAML, we just want to add this one namespace and then turn this into a Forms uh, window page. And then back in the XAML.cs and the code behind, want to load that application and just point to the app in our shared project. All right, so let's uh, let's change this build to be Universal Windows. And the last piece, we actually need to come into our solution and come to Properties. And then we want to set the, let's see where it is, uh, the configuration. Yeah, so for UWP, we want to be able to build and deploy. So we just need to make sure we check both of those. And then uh, if we were to do this on iPhone, need to be able to build uh, there too. Uh, we'll do that for the iPhone simulator so I can test if we get it back on my Mac. All right, so we should have everything ready. Now let's go ahead and try to run this uh, on our local machine as a UWP project. And we'll give that a couple seconds here to load up. Looks like it's copying some files. And it should pop up here in a second. All right, so here's that same project. Notice that our theme is different, right? On the Windows Phone, I can actually pull it up here. So let's do that. Let's pull up um, the, what did we call this? The Windows something something test. There it is at the bottom. So we'll put the Windows Phone version next to the Windows 10. Haven't changed any code, but the theme is different, right? So by default, uh, Windows 10 here has a light theme on my phone I've got the dark theme but it should still look the exact same here so same interaction drag things left and right and notice that these uh, little sliders look slightly different than these on Windows Phone so again Xamarin and Xamarin Forms 2.0 is keeping up with 
the way things look on the different platforms. So this looks like a Windows 10 application. This looks like a Windows Phone application. Uh, pretty simple example. Haven't tried it with uh, anything too complex. Um, so I'd love to see to hear uh, if you guys try any kind of bigger projects to see how that goes. Uh, get any feedback, but relatively not so bad at this point. I'm assuming that process will get a little smoother. Uh, but from now, or for now, we can get from Xamarin Forms that we're used to with iOS, Android, and then Windows Phone, and now come into uh, UWP. So we're expanding the amount of devices we can get to, expanding the reach of the number of devices, uh, which is a really good thing. So I'm excited about this. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, again, let me know if you try this out with any bigger projects or if you have... Um, any feedback for how that goes, love to hear about it. And in the meantime, stay tuned uh, for another Quick Tips uh, video. Thanks for listening.